We'll have that action for you about half an hour from now. While a lot of attention has been given to Duke, which appears to be closing in on a number one seed, there is another tournament-bound Blue Devils team that has hardly been noticed. But Central Connecticut State University is determined to build a basketball legacy of its own. There we are, and try to get it. Tonight, for the first time in school history, Central Connecticut will look to be the other Blue Devil wielding a pitchfork during March Madness. Although it plays in the shadow of UConn, CCSU is quickly establishing a name for itself in the Constitution State. Making its second straight appearance in the Northeast Conference Final, Central hopes to add to the winning tradition it established only one year ago. Coach Howie Dickenman left his assistant's job at UConn and returned to his alma mater with the hope of restoring a floundering program. And with a victory over Robert Morris, he's done that. Yes, that is it. For the first time in Central Connecticut's Division I history, the Blue Devils will stand. Like you got to go to class tomorrow oh. because <laughs> oh, no way. one all year, baby. That's what it's all about. On the bus ride through the night back to campus, NEC Coach of the Year Dickenman found time to reflect on his program's quick turnaround. We kind of just started a program from scratch with some freshmen that we recruited and and built it up to the point now where we've been here for four years and have a, a pretty solid foundation. The cornerstone of that foundation was a local kid who wasn't recruited by anyone and became the NEC's Player of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year this season. I definitely want to play at the Division One level. And luckily for me, Coach D got the job at Central in the late signing period. And he was offering me a scholarship. Wow. And now, wow. the reality of their accomplishments sets in. Wow. He won. <laughs> Like, we did it. And it's a dream come true, and we're the first team to do it for um, Central Connecticut. And the CCSU Blue Devils are on the road to the Final Four as part of the 64 team field. Clark, the NCAA has this tradition of huge schools playing big time parts in the tournament, but Central Connecticut State University, can you imagine what it's on that campus this week? Oh, it's exciting. But you know what? I would, I'd like to look at the tournament as a nice, hearty beef stew. Your big schools are your potatoes and your beef. Your small schools are the vegetables, the pepper, the seasoning. And that's what gives the stew the flavor, the small ingredients. And that's what the smaller schools are when you talk about the drama and madness and mayhem of March. Mm. 